Hello, happy people, and welcome back to another episode of 65 and Counting. I'm your host, Adam Fry. I'm a certified Medicare planner, and I'm here to ask the important questions that you want answered by industry professionals. This show is for everyone and anyone coming up on that important milestone of 65 years old. That means retirement, it means Medicare eligibility, or it means that you're just plain interested in the world of retirement planning. Whatever it is, on this show, you'll hear from the people that know it best. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. As you probably already know, when I'm not hosting this show and teaching you all about Medicare, I'm a client care specialist with American Retirement Advisors, and I see it all. And a lot of what I do on the phone inspires what I talk about here on 65 and Counting. So today, I want to tell a few stories of how we were able to help those that called in. So first, let's talk about a helpful call I had with Sarah. Now, Sarah called us in a panic. She had just left the pharmacy and told us her plan had no prescription drug coverage. The pharmacy wanted her to pay cash. That's a scary situation to have. Thankfully, this was a very easy solution. You see, Sarah has original Medicare with a Medicare supplement and a prescription drug plan. Now, that's a lot of cards to keep track of. Sarah has her red, white, and blue Medicare card, she has her Medicare supplement card, and she has her prescription drug plan card. So first things first, which card did she give to the pharmacist? It was her Medicare supplement card. So of course, the pharmacist believed that Sarah didn't have any prescription drug coverage. So we were able to sort through her mess of cards and find which one to give the pharmacist, her prescription drug plan card. And she was able to get her medication at the $0 copay we told her she'd have in the first place. Now, let's talk about Henry. Henry and his wife called in. They had recently received a bill for their Medicare supplement Plan G and the rate had increased. Thankfully, they knew to give us a call to find out what they could do about it. I reminded them of a few facts. The first of which was that they are able to change their Medicare supplement plan any time of year, as long as they can pass the carrier's questions about their health. Also, that their Medicare supplement plan G had federally standardized benefits. So, if they were to change to a different company's plan G, the benefits would be exactly the same. The only difference would be the name of the company and the price. So right on the phone, right on that very phone call, I was able to determine that Henry and his wife were eligible to change plans and I got them scheduled to meet with an advisor to review their options. Henry and his wife applied for a new plan with the help of an advisor later that week and saved a whole bunch of money. So finally, let's talk about this one. This is an important call that I took and I've done episodes on this in the past. So let's talk about Jean. Jean retired last year and she's been living on a fixed income since then. She's a very financially responsible gal. She's got every bill accounted for and never has had any surprises. That is until last month. She noticed that her bill for Medicare's Part B was almost $60 higher than normal. And she had a surcharge pack surcharge on her Part D as well. How could this have happened? Well, we've talked about it before on the show. She called in and she told me her problem and emailed me a copy of the bill. I looked it over and she had received an IRMA charge. We all know what that is now. Now all my regular viewers will know what's coming next. I asked her a few questions to find out where this charge could have come from. And it turns out in 2019, she sold her house and got a huge bump in income from it. So we were able to immediately solve the problem. I emailed her a special form to fill out and submit to, social, submit to the Social Security office. And they removed that surcharge from her bill. I go into a lot of detail about this topic in a previous episode. So don't forget to check out my educational spotlight on the IRMA charge. So when these people needed help, They made a very smart decision in calling to speak with a certified Medicare planner to get the answers that they needed. 
The folks on the client care team at American Retirement Advisors are eager to answer the phone and prevent a crisis like I just talked about. You're not alone in this. Myself and everyone else on the other end of the phone here have seen it all and have made it our goal to keep happy people like you confident in your retirement and healthcare decisions. Just like all the advisors I've interviewed on the show, I love it when I know I've helped someone walk their way through a tough situation. So whether you're a client or not, answers are just a phone call away. I'll include all the information to contact us in the description of the episode. And if you haven't yet, take a look at all the episodes we've released so far. We're building quite the collection of content on topics that will help you navigate the intimidating road of Medicare and retiring. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our page, and share with all your friends. But most importantly, have a great week.